Hola subscribers, it's Vivs here from Slider. In this video, I'm going to talk about animations with a recycler view. There are two types of animations that are possible with a recycler view. One, those animations which can be seen by the user when you're adding, removing, moving items inside the recycler view. And two, are those types of animations which will be seen when you're loading the recycler view to be shown to the user inside an activity or fragment. What are the prerequisites before you watch this video? So you go to my channel and you go to playlist here. There are two things that you need to see and that would be about the material design playlist where I've talked about how recycler view works in the beginning parts of the series and then I have talked about how to handle item clicks in video number 23 and 24 in my playlist down there. So be sure that you have seen these videos before you watch the current ones because that's exactly what's going to happen in this video. Showing this involved a lot of boilerplate code which I have skipped. So first let me explain my setup currently. If you go to our activity that is main activity from there you can launch to a new activity here called recycler item animator. If you launch that activity you see an edit text and a button over here for whom I have removed the background and there's a recycler view at the bottom which you don't see currently because it's empty. It stores an array list of strings. You can add say A, click plus here. And there's our item inside the recycler view. If you want to add more items, just click B, C, and so on. And the best part is you can also remove items just by hitting this delete button over here and the recycler view items are gone. Now we need to animate this action, the action of adding items and removing items. And that's exactly what we are going to cover in this video. So let's quickly walk through the code that I have in this activity. There's my layout, which is activity underscore recycler item animations. It has nothing but a toolbar at the top, a horizontal linear layout containing an edit text and a button. And below that, there's a recycler view that's going to take up all the available space thanks to the layout weight equals to 1. And remember that the linear layout has a vertical orientation. Going to our adapter here, our adapter simply has an array list of string, nothing great about it. But it uses this item which is custom row item animations. Every single row looks like this. There is a text view and there is a button over here. And you can see the code that's pretty straightforward. It's a linear layout with horizontal orientation. So getting back to our adapter, what I have is the onCreate view holder where I have simply created this folder object where I inflate the text view and the button. I assign their IDs and then simply construct an object of that folder inside onCreateView folder at this step here. In the onBindView holder method, I have the holder's items being bound with the list data dot get. I'm calling the string data at the current position and then supplying that to my text view and I'm also setting an onClick listener for my button delete over here. As you notice it calls remove item and supplies the positions. Here there are two methods that's add item and remove item. When I add a new string item I simply add it to my list first and then I call notify item inserted which I have discussed in my earlier videos to specify the size that is the position where the item was added. And then when I remove item, there are two ways I can remove an item. I can either supply a string to remove the item or I can supply a position to remove the item. And the idea basically remains the same in both cases. First, if you supply a position, simply remove that position and notify item remove for that position. Be sure to call that. But if you call remove item with a string here, then take the position of the item that you want to remove. If that item is not existent, for example, there is nothing called ABC in the list and if you try to remove that the position will be minus one. So check that and then only remove the item and call notify item removed again with that position. So this is the simple logic I'm executing inside my adapter. If you go to my activity here there is nothing great again basic view blah 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 stuff which we do all the time. Here's my recycler view where there's my adapter that is being initialized and the layout manager is being set. Then there's the add item method which is basically triggered thanks to an on click from my activity underscore recycler item animations. Right here in the button there is the on click attribute which calls this method add item where I simply check if the input which is nothing but my edit text is not null. I mean the data in that edit text is not null or empty and then I simply add the item by calling my adapters add item method. And that's all. Let's take a look at how we can animate this process. At the beginning of this video when I was adding and deleting items, I was not really animating anything. But let's start by adding a default item animator. We can call it animator equals to new default item animator. If you take a look at the documentation for default item animator, it says 
This implementation of Recycler View provides basic animations to remove, add, move events that happen for the items inside a Recycler View. Now notice very carefully, it doesn't say that the default animator is going to work when your Recycler View appears in the fragment or activity fully loaded. In our Movies app, when we are loading the movies, they are already loaded completely from the background thanks to our database and job scheduler service that's running out there. And those items are not going to be animated with the default item animator, which is what I said at the start of the video when I told you about the two types of animations that the Recycler View supports. So going back to our code here, let's set this in action by saying animator dot set add duration customize the duration at thousand to see things in slow motion so set remove duration again thousand and now we need to set this by saying my recycler view dot set item animator pass an object of the default item animator that's all we need to do now let's run the app and figure out whether the default item animator is working or not so there's our app here going back we can go all the way to recycler item animator click add and the plus sign here there you see that was the effect of our item animator. I click add once more. You will notice how slowly it fades in. And that's the kind of default animation that your default item animator provides. If you remove an item, take a look at that. And that is how remove also works with the default item animator. But now we need to move to better types of animations. Are we going to sit and code this? At the time of making this video, the only way to customize things is to take the source code of the default item animator and then sit and write a lot of code now it's a massive piece of code if you open that source file and i'm a, I'm a lazy person i'm not going to sit and do that much in my videos what i'm going to rather show you is two nice libraries that let you do all the work behind adding and customizing animations in our recycler view so let's go there metar 2 animator libraries one of them is from gabriel mariotti and that is recycler view item animators it provides these five animations that you can see slide in left out and there's a nice representation of how they look like in this gif image which you can see here now the other one is from wasa beef at the time of making this video and these are the different types of animations. now that's a lot of animations that's being covered here in his library compared to the one by gabriel mariotti and this is exactly what i plan to use in this video so we simply go here to get the gradle dependency by saying gradle place.appspot.com here what i want is wasa beef's animator so once i enter wasa beef there's my dependency i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna add it to my build.gradle file for the app so go here add that say sync the project with gradle files at this point android studio is going to attempt to download the library from wasa beef and now it says gradle build has finished so now we can go back to our activity and start using his animations so for starters we'll remove this default item animator and we will use one of his fancy animators first let's try the scale one so we can go here and uh, the animator which i think he uses is scale in animator scale in top scale in bottom scale in left scale in right just a lot of choices available wow we'll try the scale in animator and see what the default version does so we'll say scale in animator animator equals to new scale in animator and now we can set the same properties like animator dot set add duration make it 2000 just to make you understand what is going on and how the animator actually works animator dot set remove duration again that's gonna be 2000 so now that i have done that i've set the animator as well let's run the app and see our animator in action so going back to our same recycler item animator i say add and click plus there is our scale in animator you saw how that was working right once again take a look at that it scales in along both x and y from the center of the view that we have let's add some more items and then see how removing works so there's c here and then i'll click d here click plus and there's d as well so now when i can cross this out take a look at how it goes off wow that's pretty good right all right so just to show you another type of animator this time i have changed it to a flip and top x animator in my code here so now when I say click A and I add item by hitting the plus sign, take a look at that. And now you see B here again. Let's do that and see how that works. Press C here. And we'll also try removing some items, so don't worry about it. All the durations have been set at 2000 so that I can show you how things work in slow motion. Now when I click remove here, C pops out. Now I click remove here, B pops out. And when I click remove here, A pops out. So that's a pretty nice way of customizing and playing with animation so there are a lot of animations over here you're welcome to play with them and you're welcome to tell me which one you think is the best in the comments below 
So in this video, I have shown you how to animate item modifications in the recycler view. In the next video, God knows what I'm going to do. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd, and let me know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.